Hi. <laughs> so we're in New York State and at Karen's place and have some of the samples from the recent seasonal aesthetic and we're going to talk about um, how it started and show some of the samples and let's begin. Yep. Yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> So um, I remember emailing you about mm -hmm. the potential big project. Two years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how many years mm -hmm. ago. Maybe yeah, like two and a half. Mm -hmm. like I was yeah. in the middle of moving to Florida, which was, I think, March of 2021. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, thank you very much, but no. <laughs> yeah. Can't. Yeah, you really Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it right now. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, one day we got an email. <laughs> oh. yeah. So, um, yeah. how did you um, come up with an idea? For the I was bit? basically like unpacking in Florida, and there were mm -hmm. all of these things that I had never done patterns for, and they just seemed like kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. And then I was mm -hmm. like, actually, they're all close to the same gauge, and they're like, it was. It just seemed. <laughs> it seemed easy at the time. Mm -hmm. To think, well, all these stitch patterns can be kind of interchangeable. Like, it kind of ran the gamut of different, you know, knitting. Mm -hmm. You know, it was stockinette. There was some stockinette and some um, stripes and some texture and some mosa a mosaic project that I had done that nobody had ever seen. I had never even put it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I had photographed it in Portugal in 2018, and nothing ever came of it. And I was like, somebody should do something with these patterns. And then mm -hmm. I was like, if we made them, maybe they're interchangeable. Maybe, like... Well, I was making, maybe they're a group, because there's like hat, there was a hat, there was a different vest that we were going to include mm -hmm. at the time, and then there was a cardigan and a pullover, and I thought it was easy, always easy to do, throw mitts in there, and then that kind of like covered mm -hmm. the like, yeah, <laughs> the whole and I was like, actually, well, maybe the switch, stitch patterns could actually be interchangeable, and then, you know, da da da, and then like, the way that my brain works, it's like, oh, and it could be like, everything under the sun, mm -hmm. and then remember you guys were like, and could there be sewing patterns, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe. Maybe I've never done yeah. that. <laughs> Maybe we could figure that out. Yeah. Um. In the end, I'm glad we didn't try to work yeah, that well, into yeah, all of them. I know. <laughs> I thought like we can include like all the wardrobe, mm -hmm. like make like five really simple things, yeah. and then we we can like plan like a whole yeah, wardrobe like a top for and a week. pair of pants. Yeah. yeah, kind of thing. I th at that time I thought that was a great <laughs> idea, but it's doable. yeah, but. That was just too much work <laughs> as it turned out. Yeah. And yeah. then I started doing the notes to like hand the stuff all over to you guys. And I remember when I when I started working on the that textured pullover and I was like, oh, there's a reason I never did anything with this. Like this is impossible to describe to anybody how to do even in one size, much less like how could you, how would you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I started like messing with it. Like what is a way that you could make this manageable and gradable and describable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh no, good luck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know it works. Yeah. And then to try to apply that yeah. to the to the cardigan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which was even harder. Yeah. 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 But yeah. we did. Yeah. Well, yeah. We did yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. We persevered. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely not nearly as easy as it looks, but it was, but I'm so happy with how it came out. Like, I mm -hmm. think it's really, you can just do so much with it, and that's mm -hmm. really what I wanted from it. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think those little tweakings that we ended up mm -hmm. doing, like um, this um, striped pullover, for example, started out as a different stitch count, mm -hmm. which yeah. makes it really right. difficult to. Put yeah, together put in one together. pattern, yeah. but mm. um, it looks really great. Yeah, and that's know? one thing that people might wonder, like why those aren't like why why some things aren't the same, why some things mm -hmm. diverge. So mm -hmm. I guess we should say like the patterns, the way they work is like there's one pattern for a pullover, mm -hmm. but along the way it's like if you want to do the textured stitch, then you're going to do this now, and then if you want to do the stripe, you're going to do this now, and then they kind of come back together and separate, but they wind up in the same mm -hmm. shape garment yeah. and same dimensions and everything. Um, but there are little details like this the striped um, pullover when i originally knitted this i didn't i often do multiple seams in a raglan i mean multiple stitches in a raglan seam so you get this nice detail harder to mm -hmm. see on the video but mm -hmm. so you get this like wider raglan mm -hmm. seam mm -hmm. 
but on the stripe, mm -hmm. that would yeah, create yeah, yeah. No a curve instead mm -hmm. of a nice sharp yeah. point. So, mm -hmm. this, so the mm -hmm. increases on this mm -hmm. are different than the mm -hmm. increases on the, mm -hmm. the other three. So there's little details like that that were yeah. just a lot to manage and work out and convey. <laughs> <laughs> In a but all necessary details, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it was a little bit tricky to where to place mm -hmm. this mosaic motif too. Yeah. But I think it, it looks perfect. Yeah. yeah. I'm so happy with how this cardigan turned out. Mm -hmm. One thing we did debate, people might wonder, was where the placement of the mosaic is on mm -hmm. the pullover. And it does sit a little bit lower than you might expect it to. Mm -hmm. But it's a sake of it's for the sake of making the knitting describable, <laughs> basically, like because you can knit the whole yoke solid and yeah. then you start the stripes and the yeah. mosaic after mm -hmm. the separation round. Yeah. Whereas, in, like in the vest, it's a tire because it's bottom up and you could knit yeah. the mosaic before you did the sleeve separation and then do mm -hmm. the stripe, so it sits a little higher. So there's just all kinds of stuff like that throughout the book. That's you know yeah. just trying to think of every possible yeah. detail of how to make but it. But if you did it otherwise, then people will have to figure out how to increase and Within, start the right. mosaic mm. motif at the same time, right. which is really difficult. Yeah, which yeah. you can't really increase within the mosaic. So yeah, yeah that was the yeah. challenge of like where to place that everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. perfect. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, anything looks perfect on her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we're so happy how it turned out. And yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely, it was harder than it looks, but hopefully, you know, the end result was to, for have, for knitters to have patterns that are nice mm -hmm. and clean, like you would never know. <laughs> but it was difficult to get it there. Yeah, but yeah, it turned out really great. Mm. So um, this, all the patterns are um, genderless. But it mm. was really hard to make samples for the men's size mm -hmm. as well <clears throat> with the number of um, the limited time frame that we had. But at least I wanted to include models in different age groups. Yeah. yeah. So um, which is part of the name seasonless. Like the mm -hmm. whole concept was really like I wanted it to not be all wool and for it to be timeless, but also for any stage of life or mm -hmm. whatever climate you live in you know so we've included linen yarns linen linen wool blends and cotton wool blends and pure cottons and um like mary said shot on models of vastly different ages and mm -hmm. so trying to convey that it like there really is it really can work for everyone yeah yeah and we love Hiromi. <laughs> yeah she's, <impressed. laughs> she's really incredible yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, when we saw her the first time, I was shocked how fashionable mm. <laughs> she was yeah, in, yeah. in her mm. 70s. Mm. And she knows what looks good on her really well. Yeah. 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 She's so cool. Yeah. And that was another thing about when we were starting the book, I was like, initially I thought that it could be illustrated, like we would make one sample of each, like there would be a mm -hmm. pullover and everything else could be illustrated and then mm -hmm. there would be a cardigan and everything be illustrated. And as I was doing it, like as I was knitting mitts to kind of test out all the stitch patterns, I was mm -hmm. like, I really think people need to see them all. Like they're going to be so phenomenal. And mm -hmm. I was like, Mary, I think we <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> need to actually knit everything. And the fact that you said yes to that was mm -hmm. really like mm -hmm. huge because that is a lot of samples. Like I don't know if people understand like what a big deal it was yeah. <laughs> to have that many samples made for one book. But to, mm -hmm. to, but to really make it clear in mm -hmm. the photographs and in like anybody who has the chance to see the trunk show or whatever, to be able to see like the bounty that you really can get out of this one book. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really important to see that how these stitches will actually um, turn out in different yeah. patterns. And like to be able to see that these are all the same, these are all the same yeah. cardigan pattern, yeah. like mm -hmm. shawl collar, plain collar, pockets or not pockets. Yeah. And then just the different yeah. stitch patterns and what you do with your color and your yarn choice. Mm -hmm. So you can make a world of, a, you know, a total world of different cardigans out of this one pattern. Yep. This is a cotton and wool blend, mm -hmm. wool, Shetland wool, mm -hmm. wool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and pieces of cardigans. Yeah. And we have some like, this is wool linen. Yeah. Yeah, the best version. Mm -hmm. 
longer birds, you know? Um, Groot. Yes, this yeah. is longer one. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the vest has two lengths and shapes. So the green one is the crop, yeah. crop length mm -hmm. and it's straight, yeah. shorter length. And then this one is mm -hmm. longer and just has a slight A line to it mm -hmm. at the hip. Yeah, since there's a uh, ribbing at the bottom, it's really hard to see mm -hmm. that it's slightly flared. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's. So you have your choice with that in terms of like, do you want to make the longer or shorter as well as which mm -hmm. stitch pattern and mm -hmm. what yarn are you going to use. And then with the pullover, you have the options of a plain neckband, a folded neckband, or a turtleneck, like the yeah. mosaic we mm -hmm. did in a turtleneck, but you could do the mosaic without the turtleneck or the textured with the turtleneck. So, you know, it's yours to customize all of it. And hat. Let me hat. <laughs> yeah, we didn't bring everything because there's so many and we are traveling, but um, this is the shortest one. Two lengths, so there's a cap length and a beanie mm -hmm. length, and then you can put short ribbing or tall ribbing. Yeah, yeah. Or... this one is slightly longer, and then in terms of ribbing, this one is much longer. Yeah, yeah. so do you want it to fold up? Yeah. So do you want a snug fitting cap or a beanie and do you want to fold up mm -hmm. your brim or not? So you can, again, mix and match any of those things. And we also made hats in two different sizes, um, the smallest and the yeah. medium size. And I don't know which one is which, but you can make it really um, well fitted or slouchy. a little bit slouchy. Yeah. I love this one so much. Oh yeah. yeah. I look good. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the screen hat mm. is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody should wear these together. And just not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the mitts. Yeah, so the mitts are a great place to start. Basically the way we conceived it was that they function as a swatch. So you yeah. just did a big rectangle. Mm. You can practice, especially if you're doing the textured stitch or the mosaic. You have a chance to practice on a big rectangle and then turn mm -hmm. that rectangle into a mitt. And then you make one more. So, but they're, so, they're all so cute. Yeah. That's my favorite photo mm -hmm. in the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love them so much. And these are like, again, just completely genderless, you know, and mm -hmm. what, what yarn you use and which stitch pattern you choose, like they could mm -hmm. be excellent holiday gifts. Yeah. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a great idea to sort meat. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And this feels so yeah. nice. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, the camel. Yeah. The camel? That one's cashmere. Mm -hmm. That's the um, clever camel. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, mm -hmm. that's the clever camel. Yeah. You're right. So nice. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm curious about the vest. Yeah. The armhole. Uh, we yeah, don't yeah, yeah. really see the shape for armhole. That that was it turned like, out nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> I was a little yeah, nervous yeah. about it, but I'm like, <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be good. Yeah. But mm -hmm. that was the one that I had never you know, most of these are based on things that I had knitted mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there were adaptations made, but this one it was like purely just map and sketch and um stitch counts and everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, hope yeah. it turns out. But I was definitely on pins and needles until photos started coming in. And yeah. then the first one that came in mm -hmm. was this, um, mm. the textured version, which I chose specifically to do in this linen wool blend that's a little bit flecky mm. because it sh it, it'll show you how much, like the difference it makes to do a softer, fuzzier, less uh, distinct yarn like that than a really distinct yarn in the mm -hmm. same stitch pattern. But then when the photos of this started coming in, it was like, you could barely see it. <laughs> it's like, it's turn out okay. But yeah. it's so cute. It's really mm -hmm. hard to see in photos, but it is really, really cute. And with this linen wool blend, this is like a great year-round garment. In so many places, or like when I was living in Florida at the time we were working on this, this is a this is a winter sweater down there. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And that was, again, like the concept of seasonless was like, I wanted there to be a way for you to find something in there that you can use, you know, a lot in there that you can mm -hmm. use in your life, whatever it might be and wherever it might be. Yeah, mm -hmm. that linen wool blend is a really good one. It's like, such a good yarn. Yeah, and you can wear basically all year round. Yeah, layer it yeah. under things or over mm -hmm. things or by itself. I love a vest. 
Mm -hmm. I was on a trail of friends this morning and one of them says, borrowed a vest from the other and doesn't often wear a vest. And she's like, why don't I wear a vest? Vest makes so much, so much sense. Like, this is the mm -hmm. perfect garment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kate and I are both like, we are all about vests. Like, vests mm -hmm. are yes. like this, just mm -hmm. the most multi-purpose garment. Mm -hmm. So, the red rose. So this section, mm -hmm. um, what was your idea? I just was, as, we, as I was working on it again, I was like, I just, there were certain people in my head in particular who I just kept thinking what they're going to do with this book is so different than what we've done with the samples or what they would do from each other. And I just really wanted to, there was no way to like, you know, go to people and be like, can you <laughs> knit five things and show us what you made, you know, but I was, but we could go to people and say, what would you, with these patterns, what would you imagine making and how it fit into your wardrobe and your lifestyle? So we asked three people. Yes. Um, Ebony now and Ethan to tell us what like just imagine what they would make and tell us and give us pictures of like what they would wear it with and how talk about how they would wear it and why and then uh, you guys hired mm -hmm. Rico mm -hmm. to do the illustrations and so that was a really fun piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah and I was really surprised what people came up with. Yeah. Yeah like I some of them this was uh, I never imagined making those in those colors yeah. myself. Um, I think like we have a similar taste in clothes that I usually go for yeah. like black and white and yeah. not green too <laughs> and yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I didn't think of using like, for example, like pink sure, or pink, like yeah. red yeah, and yeah, navy yeah. together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or like mosaic. now we talked about doing mm -hmm. the mitt, the stripe mitts and mm -hmm. just a textural difference oh, yeah. instead of yeah. a, a tonal difference. And then one thing that makes me really happy is this Ebony's Mm -hmm. suggestion for the polar for the vest this is actually a vest she has pictured here mm -hmm. um her suggestion was in la bien uh the confetti yarn with mm -hmm. this gray with like neon mm -hmm. confetti yeah. flecks in it yeah, yeah, yeah. and i've seen at least two garments finished on instagram that use that yarn one vest and one pullover mm -hmm. on ebony's suggestion mm -hmm. and so oh, it's really? really fun to see oh. that come to life yeah and be like oh that was a great idea yeah. ebony yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't think of it for samples but it was it's mm -hmm. really cute so it's also a good way to get other people's like yarn thoughts in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a fun idea. Mm -hmm. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Ethan's like I loved how thorough Ethan's was because he's yeah, got like, I thought that was really like, even the outfits. He's got too. like a hat yeah. and mitts with each outfit, and they're just really, um, really, really great. Yeah. yeah. It was also interesting to see who picked what because we didn't like limit them to like you know, well, I guess in one way we did, but it was like we just said what would you make, and, and it was funny that. Everybody, almost everybody picked the mosaic cardigan. So yeah. I was like, well, I can pretend to make other things. And <laughs> I want so many things, I can leave that out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I, I, I love his idea of using only three colors for making everything. Mm -hmm. And mm. then you can wear them together mm. too. And that's really nice too. Yeah. I love pink. Mm -hmm. The pink one pink is so one. cute too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that was a fun exercise, and it's like I love to do this for different books that we make too. Like, you can't actually knit everything um, right. in time, mm -hmm. yeah. but it's interest like fun to hear what people would do with the pattern. It was also interesting to see if you want to know which garment is the most versatile. This, <laughs> this ivory Aaron uh, Gansey inspired sweater, that's the pullover that I had made myself years ago, and we improved on it um, and wrote the pattern. This is the one we were talking about earlier that was real challenging. But there's an index in here of all because there are so many samples like we talked about before. Mm -hmm. There's an index in here of what they all are. It's here, and it says you know which. If you want to, if there's something on a given page that you want to know exactly, like which combination, like which you know, mm -hmm. which which yarn is that, and what you know, which mm -hmm. options were chosen or whatever, you can look mm -hmm. it up. And the size. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. And so there's like page numbers for each time that the garment appeared, but the I, that ivory cardigan is in like 18 photos on every different <laughs> model, and like, it's over the shoulders, and it's with the hat, and um, it's yeah. like you know, it's so, <laughs> it's just like. This is the like the do everything garment clearly because it's like it just keeps showing up over and over. It's, yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, we are reprinting this yep. 
um, and taking pre-orders as we speak. And if you are sure that you want to purchase a book, then I recommend doing um, pre-order. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for sure you're going to get it. Yeah. Um, I think this is the book that you can go back to um, many times over the years mm -hmm. and just keep making um, um, different items and different colors and yarn and you won't get tired of it. So I highly recommend um, making something from this book. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both so much for all your hard work on it. Thank you. You're welcome and thank you <laughs> so much. It was a fun uh, project for us too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.